Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. Today we're still at the CTDX event at the uh, Dragon in uh, southwestern North Carolina, right at the Tennessee border. And we can't pass up an opportunity like this. There are so many super cool cars here that we had to pick out a few and talk to their owners and see just what's done to them. But first, before we get into any of that, I just want to take a quick second and thank this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Shark Performance. If you're in the Volvo community, you know they're one of the best tuning companies for your car. They offer a range of options. You can go full bet crazy uh, or you can do a mild tune. They're awesome. I highly recommend you check them out. Link in the description below. You can visit them right here as well. But now we're going to meet the owner of a very special C30 and he has a very interesting story on how he got his all-wheel drive. Thank you so much. Nice to be here. So, uh, real quick, how'd your car get all-wheel drive? Uh, a little, uh, a little man named uh, Rich Forsyth. I have to thank him very much. He's been uh, working on my car for about six years now, and uh, he did the first conversion on uh, Travis's car. And then I told him, "Hey, put me down. You know, save the spot for me. I'm in. I'm in. I need to do this. I need to claim the first all-wheel drive pull start at street legal." So he made it work, and he worked his magic. Fantastic. And. Um, as many people know, these cars did not come in any form in all-wheel drive, but their sister car, the S40, did, and that's where you got your donor car from, right? Yep, yep. And we actually have it right over here. So this car I acquired in uh, Florida. I was searching all over as soon as Rich said he can do this. So I started looking everywhere and not anywhere that the car would be rusted underneath. So I found one in Florida um, and within a week of figuring out Rich could do this, I said, hey, we'll take it. It was, on a, uh, it was on a truck on its way to Houston and it got delivered straight to Rich's shop and he started working on that. About a couple of weeks later, I drove this car in and gave that to him. And uh, in the midst of that, uh, Stephanie Tedder, who's now the owner of this car, said to me, is it possible to convert it to front wheel drive it and make it a usable daily? And Rich Forsythe made that happen too, so he claims that as well. First all wheel drive to front wheel drive conversion. If, I, if any of you have seen my videos, you know I mention Rich a lot. Um, he's soft spoken, but he is an absolute legend in this community. Is anything special done to that? I noticed it has an exhaust. It sounds pretty good, or is it just basically what used to be in here and there? So when he was working on that and helping, uh, not helping he was converting it to front wheel drive uh, the exhaust system hadn't had the muffler put back on yet so he did a test start of it it sounded amazing the owner of that car said leave it like it is I like it I just want it as loud as possible and uh, the only thing we've done is we've uh, finished the pipe that goes over the rear so frame and uh, two S60 Artisan exhaust tips out there that's genuinely it that's the car is stock tune wise it is running on this car's old R design suspension and sway bar um, roof racks and just it's a perfect sleeper daily to be honest it is very unassuming but as cool as that is we're here for this one so why don't you real quick talk us what we got uh, going on on the exterior here first of all we got the beautiful blue uh, what is the actual Volvo blue name for that the the name is rebel blue uh, so Polestar likes to call it internally as a joking moniker Swedish racing green um, but on the paint code 619 is rebel blue according to Volvo Fantastic. And we got some uh, Michelin rubber wrapped around what kind of wheels? These are fast innovations. I had them re-drilled to 5x108 because they didn't actually make them for this uh, this hub bore. But uh, I had them re-drilled from 512 to 5x108 and have hub-centric rings. And the offset on this is 42 instead of the factory 52. 
Gotcha. We got our, our mud flaps there and everything like that. Yeah. Anything else uh, special about the exterior? Um, just very minor touches. So I had the mirror caps wrapped in plastic that come in the silk metal color. Uh, I painted the roof racks black because I didn't like the way the silver popped off the top. Um, tire stickers, I got to wrap the tire stickers. They've always been uh, really, really helpful and quick shipping on that. Um, the biggest thing I did to the front is I actually uh, put the Polestar logo just like they did on the concept car because that's the end goal. That's what I'm trying to get. So it used to say R design over here, but now it's got the Polestar badge. And uh, I relocated the license plate to a tow hook mount. So I just filled those two uh, holes with little eyelets, um, these little eye bolts over here. And then this is my little uh, uh, action camera mount and sitting so low to the ground, slaying the dragon, you feel the speed. It's fantastic. I love awesome. it. Now, as far as the interior, any interesting mods in there or uh, just the uh, hoist for the flag? Well, yeah, other than the, the, the flag mount, I have, uh, I've done the door sill, so the C30 the door sill. Uh, I have the Alcantara steering wheel and the shift knob, both of them done by Control Custom in England. And uh, that shift pattern is supposed to mimic the concept car. I designed that pattern. I sent it over to them. They did the full carbon fiber inlay on that and on the steering wheel. Uh, as far as every anything else, it's pretty much stock in here. I've left it just how it left the factory. Fantastic. And as everybody knows, this has the number one interior feature I look for in all cars, a third pedal. <laughs> so, uh, while this is all very nice and the car is absolutely beautiful, I think we should go up front because that's where this car really shines. So if you mind uh, popping that hood. Sure, absolutely. Take a look. Pop, pop the hood. <laughs> Not a, not a trailer queen, that's what no, we like to I, see. I like to drive her. So right off the bat, you got the same elevated intake parts I do, So, uh, but uh, that's where things seem to uh, seem to be slightly different. Yep, yep. So what do we got going on here? So that is the intake plenum by Anemba Engineering. It, they made it primarily for the Mark II Focus RS over in uh, the Europe, but it fits perfectly fine. Uh, direct bolt-on pretty much and I have ported and polished intake runners that go into the engine as well the engine is stock for now but uh, I've got the elevated intake I've got the, the factory hard pipe I have the DOE 88 uh, intercooler in the front and the silicone up pipe as far as engine work that's all there is um, going to suspension I would say that that strut brace that's factory Polestar actually used that on their concept car mainly stating because uh, the factory uh, Strut mounts are actually welded and part of the firewall, which is why they chose not to upgrade that part. Fantastic. Now, this is obviously not where we're staying. Mm -hmm. uh, what is in this car's future, specifically up front here? So, it's stock as it is right now. Um, it's running the elevated all-wheel drive downpipe to clear the angle gear. But in the future, I definitely plan on going big turbo, uh, fully sleeve the block, head work, port, polish, match everything. And uh, I'm hoping I don't break any axles, but maybe beefier axles on these cars. <laughs> um, but it's still running the factory Pulsar tune right now, which is, they claim 250 and 275 pound-feet of torque <laughs> at, uh, at the crank. But I've dynoed it and as it sits right now, it's way above that. Um, but I want to go to at least 400 at the wheels, about 450 or higher at the crank. Genuinely trying to make it a replica of the uh, concept car. Fantastic. And spe you mentioned suspension before. What? That's not stock either. What else we got not. going on here? I'm running a Bilstein B16s, the PSS9 version. Um, they're currently set up so that they work fine with the all-wheel drive conversion, but on the rear it's preferred to have an adjustable shock body, which this one doesn't have, but it rides perfectly fine. It works great. Um, I love it. It's a little stiffer in the front. I have it set to softer in the rear to be a, li build, uh, a little more compliant in the corners of the Dragon. Um, and that's where my sway bar comes into handy. I have the uh, the last Tripoint Engineering sway bar that Tripoint Engineering made in uh, in uh, in California. I, I asked them, hey, do you guys still make this? And they said, we don't have it, but we can make one. Come and get it from us. So I flew out to LA and I picked it up in person. Fantastic. Well, I for one, and I'm pretty sure I can speak for all of them, cannot wait to see this thing finished because it'll be an absolute 
monster. Uh, I just want to take a second. Thank you so much for your Absolutely, time. Absolutely, thank you. Uh, is there any social channels, anything you want the people to follow, anything like um, that? I guess follow me on uh, Instagram at Vertec Valkyrie, uh, and you should be able to find me through Moose Tech or any other people who are involved in the C30 community. Um, you can follow her, that's Steph Ted 6 uh, in Instagram, and that's about it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much again. Guys, if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell so you get new content as we release it. If you want to help support the channel, head on down to Teespring. The link down below. Get yourself some sweet shifting lane swag. We got shifting lane shirts. We got C30 shirts. We got uh, Greg's V70R, the S60R, the Hellwinkle stuff. Thanks for that. Uh, just head on down, every dime we make from that stuff, we put directly back into our channel, helping uh, bring content like this, our builds, trips, events, everything we make, we put back into making content for you guys. If you wanna follow us on social media, it's at Shifting Lanes. Uh, if you wanna follow me on social media because you're bored and don't have anything better to do, at Chenity83, hit me up there. But as for this one, thanks to Imran, thanks for the, both these cars, but that's a wrap and I'll catch you next time.